Okay, I just want to work on my garden gnome bank, and you can see I've got the head and the hat here. And I thought I might make the hat a little bit bigger and have it come down. And then I'm going to clean it up and put a slot in the back of it uh, for my um, coins to drop down. This is completely hollow. and um, But today, mostly I want to focus on making this hat bigger and cleaning it up a little bit. And, um, and then we will, um, you know, get a slab and put it on the back to, to extend that. So I'm just going to roll out some clay here so that I can make a slab and extend my hat. And I'm going to use two rulers by stacking those up and then pushing the rolling pin all the way down on the rulers. It'll help me to keep it very even. And as long as I push down really hard and make sure that I'm in contact with the rulers, um, the slab should be the same thickness all the way through. trying to get some slip right up into this edge here so I don't want to create an air pocket. I might take a brush and push some of that up there. Okay, here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take some slip and just kind of force it into that crevice there. I don't want to create an air pocket and I'm a little bit worried that if I attach a piece of clay there that um, I will create an air pocket. So if I take some slip and just push it down there and fill that void um, then I can put um, a piece of clay on there and not have to worry about it. And you can see that I've rolled out the piece of clay that I want to use. So now it's a matter of just putting slip on there and then um, attaching this slab to um, that ball of clay. It's that easy. So um, it helps if you use a brush to push that clay or that slip in that uh, void and I just really want to make sure I fill it up so I don't create an air pocket so that's what I'm doing right there now I'm not going to worry about um, scoring it um, this clay is soft enough uh, the ball is it kind of getting a little bit harder but I feel like it's soft enough to add that slab with no problem and um, you can see there I'm having a hard time finding a place where I can lay it down and uh, have it not roll over and put that slab on there so I kind of stuck it in the bowl and sat it up against the slip container and it seemed to work 
pretty well. Um, but I don't want to break it and it's really hard to do. So there, I'm about to realize that I, I can't hold it without something. So I think I use a slip container to do that. But I'm also throwing a little bit more slip on here so that um, I can make sure that my slab, even though it's really plastic, it adheres well. And I'm not too worried about scoring it here because um, the slab is very plastic and the bowl shape is pretty plastic. It's a little bit harder than I wanted, but um, this slip will make a big difference and I'll just be able to put it right on there and attach it. And I'm just trying to line it up the best I can and I'll have to trim it some and, uh, and I'll blend that together and trying not to create air bubbles. So I'll, I'll tell you if I have an air bubble later because if it blows up, I'll know. And you can see when it blows up where the problem is. I like to use this knife to smooth this together. It really works well. Um, I could use other tools too. I could use a spoon or I could use the ruler or a rib, something like that. But this little cheap knife I got from the, uh, the Dollar Tree um, really works well. Be careful not to create air pockets here. That's really important. You see that I'm kind of using some slip to kind of fill up the area. And I don't want to blend that too much without putting that slip in there. That will help me blend it without putting air pockets in. And it works pretty well. You just have to make sure you have some nice slip and then just take the knife and blend it right over that. And um, make sure um, by pressing, I'm pressing any pockets of air out making sure that it is going to adhere really well and then just scraping that off with the knife and I'm just scraping off the top of it and blending it together and it will hold together really well and um, it will smooth pretty well and I just have to be careful not to create the air pockets. Because of the shape of this, it's really hard to lay down. And I keep putting it in this bowl, and it kind of damages the back of the hat a little bit. But um, I kind of prop it up on a couple things, and it works pretty well. Um, but the way the weight is distributed um, makes it really tough to manage. Here you can see I cut through both slab layers and I'm just taking this little part off here 
and then by adding some slip and you may have to score and something like this by adding slip in here and filling in all the gaps I'll be able to put that little piece of um, slab on there and blend that in and you'll never notice that um, it wasn't all one piece but I'm really making sure I get plenty of slip in there and I'm filling up any gaps and uh, pressing it down so that there are no um, air pockets and I'll just blend it together Okay, here I'm just using this ice scraper to paddle it, and this will help me smooth and shape the clay. So just by lightly paddling this, it, it will smooth it, shape it, and help me get rid of all those little lines. And I like to use this big ice scraper because it's really wide and it's easy to paddle. A, a piece of wood, um, a wide piece of wood would also work. Um, sometimes if you have something really small you could use like a ruler but for this here if you use the ruler you might put lines in it by accident so that may not work so I'm just gonna paddle it here to smooth it up and shape it better
Okay, what I want to try to do is cut some really thin pieces of slab and kind of put those around the edges of the hat just to kind of build it up some. So I've rolled out some clay that is thinner, um, just like the thickness of a ruler, and I'm just cutting a strip here, and then I'll be able to take this strip and place it right on um, the edge of my hat. And um, sometimes if my, my clay is really plastic, um, you can just put it on there. But I like to put a little bit of slip on there. Now, should you score? You know, anytime you're adding a big piece, I always say that you probably should score. In a case like this, with it being plastic, really plastic, I'm not so worried about it. So I'm just placing some slip right on the edges and I will add this to the edges. Sorry about the camera view there. I didn't do uh, a very good job of getting that on camera, but I'm just placing this on the edges here.
well, I want to spend some time like cleaning it up a little bit and, um, you know, uh, just smoothing it, making the edges that I want sharp, um, blending those pieces together and using the ruler seems to work pretty well on this. I could use a rib also, or there are other tools I can use, but uh, the ruler's right there and it makes it easy to do. So um, I'm just going to continue using the ruler and the knife and other tools like that to kind of clean up those edges. It's worth spending a little bit of time now to do that. And then adding a little bit of um, slip there. I'm a little bit afraid this is getting a little dry. So sometimes I'll just spray it down with water and just let that water soak in. <laughs> 